terms. Yes. Now, now actually, this is uh, the Earth is now. If you can read this, this the Earth is a biosphere. Ecosystems are the living and non-living things in an area, and populations are a group of one type of organisms living in an area. So this is actually the main topic is in the green color in the center of the slide. Yeah. So we will talk about this because this to our topic is restricted and bounded to these topics. So let's see the next uh, slide. Now this is the hierarchy. Can you read this? Yes, okay. The hierarchy of bio biology. Ecosystems, communities, populations, organisms, organ systems, organs, tissues, cells, or uh, organs. Organelles, molecules. So this is all about that. That we are starting from the molecules right from the bottom, and we are just reaching at the ecosystem. So ecosystem contains Gee. all these uh, listed elements, and we will talk about one by one. Uh, let's see. The next one is. Well, the big question is ecology. Uh, what is ecology? Yes. Ecology is a study of the relationship between organisms and their environment. Example problems and ecology. Uh, uh, let, let hold on. Now this is the key word that it is the study of the relationship. Now the key word is that the uh, relationship. What I mean to say that relationship mm -hmm. between organism and organisms their, and their environment. So this is the study. What we can say. When we are talking about all these things, so we will have to study the relationship. Basically, this is the relationship between what? Between the organism, one thing, yes. and their environment in which they are living. So these are the two things. We will talk about the first, the organism, and then their environment. And then this relationship, this relationship, that study, is called the ecology. Can you understand this? Okay. Now let's see examples. Just read out these example. Hello. Read this. G X again. Let me find out. Example problems that ecology handles. How do humans affect the atmosphere and contribute to global warming? How does the population of wolves in an area affect the population of rabbits? And do clownfish, Nemo, and, uh, and Nemo benefit each other? So actually, these are the big questions. The question yeah. mark is this, that we will have to the special study. This is a study. So these are the main concern of this ecosystem and whatsoever we are going to talk about in the next slides. Okay. Let's see. So if you can read this, In this second. one is why, uh, why, uh, why does ecology matter? Yes. The study of the relationship between organisms. Achha, scenario. Imagine that there's an insect that lives on peanut plants growing on farms in Northampton country. Is there a way that we can limit in insect damage to the peanut crops in order to decrease the price of peanuts as a, at the store by 20 cents per pound. So the, the, actually this ecology, the study of the relationship between organism and their environment like in the previous. So if, this is a sample example and the sample problem that how can we manage all these things. Now let's Gee. see, we'll talk about in the next slide. Yes, look at this. How do we study environment? Quadrant How? studies, tracking changes in a small section of the environment. Yes, the quadrant studies that we will have to divide into different portions and then we will get uh, the study one by one. Now let's see what are those quadrants. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So you can see this, mm -hmm. the first. Sampling. On... Yes, yeah, sampling. So Only measuring the... a small random part of an environment. Yes. So sampling is always uh, of the population. When there's a big population, so G. we will, we are, are just taking, selecting the samples and then we are putting it in this quadrant. 
and we will have Jee. to study about all the feature the characteristics of that sample and at the end we will make the conclusion and that conclusion Jee, is fit for all the population so this is all the population and population. always so we are just starting from the sample so now let's see the next is this just read out eco eco system oh, now let's see this is the slide mm, ecosystem an area containing an interaction of living and non living factors in an area slash yes. example ecosystem north carolina forest pine forest coastal mm. plains of north carolina outer banks coastal water ecosystem lake gaston ecosystem so ecosystem is basically when you were reading that an area containing an interaction of living and non living, and non -living factors in area or region so actually this mm. is the sampling we are just taking and marking the area and we are just looking for this for example so let's see some of the examples of ecosystems first is north carolina carolina, carolina forest, forest. Uh, coastal plains of North Carolina, Outer Banks, coastal water ecosystem, and Lake Gaston ecosystem. So these are making a complete system, ecosystem. G. Now this photograph is uh, talking about. This is just a photograph, but it is uh, the message behind <laughs> this that this is an independent system. And G. Yeah, maybe may another pictorial view in the next slide is. Look at this. So this is another system. Now we have lush green populated area. And the mm -hmm. next one is just like this. That the some uh, we have the ecosystem where the plants are growing in the water. So habros, just like mangroves. Uh, we can see all this mm -hmm. in the uh, Karachi uh, near the port. So these are mangroves type of the trees and this is making a complete ecosystem for all those living organisms which are living either in water or on these plants and plants is also the integral part of this ecosystem which is Gee. existing the water and the plants and the animals. So they are all combined in one ecosystem and they are joining together for their survival. Each and every one yes. is depending upon each other. So this is a, the photographic example of an ecosystem. One more is that is uh, once again that is the part of that ecosystem we were talking about in the previous slide. Now this is one more is that the flower and the you can see the water yes. and the plants. So this is making another ecosystem. Now, exactly. one thing is, so uh, now you can look this spider type, the creation. Now we have the plants in the background and the soil, the rocks and the living organism, the reptiles mm -hmm. like these, uh, what we can say, this is a Capricorn type of the thing. This, now let's see, one more ecosystem is, so these uh, photographic images are giving the idea that what type of the ecosystems are existing at our planet. Exactly. So the, these Gee. are the photographs that sometime we have a soil, the grass, the water, the living things. So you can see this is just like a crocodile type of the shape. And this, Gee, you know, they, they are making a complete ecosystem of our planet. Now look, look at this. So you can see the plants, but there is also the living organism. That is, you can see this. This is uh, some type of the frog, the green frog. So they are living in the water also, and they are just coming to the plants. Living on the plants too. And they are, uh, their environment is just, they are disguising, camouflaging. This is called the camouflaging with the environment. You can see the color. It is just like a leaf of this plant. And uh, they, they have the escape. They have the survival ways in this ecosystem. 
if this is thrown out of this so it will not uh, make a survival so that's why there must be a system for their survival now look at the mm -hmm. next now one more for snakey picture yes this is also the part of this uh, from there we can say that this may be a branch or the part of this plant but actually this is an animal and it is uh, living in its own ecosystem just to survive now next see let's see this is what is and can you see this what is an ecosystem yes abiotic factor is the non living part in an ecosystem yes uh, of an ecosystem. Like rock exactly. soil temperature gases in the air light biotic factors are living parts of an ecosystem plants animals bacteria fungus producers use light to make their own energy consumers eat other organisms to organisms to obtain energy and decomposers they break down the organisms for energy so uh, these are all the terms which are also written in your uh, book ji sara ko ye book mein bhi hai ha he biotic so when we are talking about the ecosystem so this is consists of two factors that is the abiotic factors non living parts of an ecosystem rocks as we have seen in the photographs soil temperature gases in the air and light that is coming from the sun so these are the abiotic factors of a ecosystem then the biotic factors mm -hmm. the living parts of an ecosystem plants animals bacteria fungus pro uh, now this is can a biotic contain the three main types here you can see G. that uh, biotic system is the combination of this this and this because it is uh, the, these are the major three uh, components of the biotic factors of an ecosystem so ecosystem that is consisting of one abiotic and the next is biotic and here mm -hmm. the producer sums are producers use light light is from coming from this abiotic system to make their own energy Com mm -hmm. consumers eat other organism to obtain energy we will see this in the next slides decomposer break down dead organism for energy so definitely there is a balance if there there are no decomposers so we cannot get the balance of the ecosystem the balance will be disturbed okay. now let's see the next slide is so what is this this is word parts yes this mean and before word makes it opposite or not in biotic biotic a typical not typical anonymous anonymous no name so this was actually the explanation of those terms which we were talking in the a biotic uh, or g yes yes, yes yes now let's see this these are the more examples biotic biotic includes humans bacteria fungus plants insects amphibians reptiles mammals birds a biotic so, includes water soil wind or air gases for example o2 co2 nitrogen temperature sunlight pH level and acidic or alkaline. So we can draw a line. We can make that mm -hmm. uh, these these factors are the biotic. Humans, mm -hmm. bacteria, fungus, plants, insects, amphibians. These are also the types of uh, the living organism. And then this mm -hmm. mammals and birds. And uh, abiotic. these are water soil wind or air gases different type of the gases or air temperature sunlight ph value acid or base because uh, every liquid has its uh, ph value and due to this value we can distinguish between the acid and the base so these are combining together and they are making the ecosystem so anybody can ask that what are those factors which are the components of the ecosystem, ecosystem. so in this way 
we can categorize the uh, into two categories biotic and abiotic and abiotic factors so this is all about the uh, components of ecosystem now let's see the next one is now abiotic or biotic yes uh, this color yes okay now it's uh, visible to you so just read this the air temperature is 45 degrees fahrenheit is equal to a biotic a uh, biotic because we are talking about the temperature the next the is the soil is made up of the soil is made up of rocks and minerals is equal to a biotic a bird next lays is. eggs is equal to biotic bacteria because birds break down, yes a uh, bacteria break down dead organisms is equal to biotic and the ph or the water is too acidic is equal to bio a biotic so, so we will talk about the ph also because Ji. it has a specific value Ji. so Ji. it's a, uh, we are using the water and its ph value is 2 so its uh, nature is acidic and this is once again a biotic factor so all these are combining Ji. together and they are complementing each other just to make a uh, an ecosystem this is G. components so we have given the examples that uh, the temperature soil bird bacteria and water in which all these things are living so let's see the next one Na can you see this slide abiotic or biotic <coughs> biotic yes. is duck and then abiotic is water biotic is fish and the plants are also biotic so this is actually the whole uh, picture of a system ecosystem and these are also combining together now look at this as this biotic that is the duck so it is living in its system he will go into the water abiotic and then there are the plants and the fish you can see the fish so these are biotic now biotic biotic and in between the soil and the water there is a water in this on mm -hmm. this so it will make its uh, in uh, living how he will come over here and he will get the food from these fish and then it will go out and definitely there must be a plant or something else biotic once again because it is coming down and because it is living in the ecosystem so it is uh, getting its food and then going back to the earth or soil so if this factor is minus to this uh, abiotic water is minus or the biotic is not there in this so its survival is very difficult it cannot survive so it's a big question mark so the combination of abiotic or biotic making the whole system and that's why it is living in this ecosystem and used to live in this now let's see the next one is which can you see this next one is x g which of the following is a relationship between abiotic and biotic factors yes. the rain of an open field washes away soil a hawk hunts a mouse and swoops down into the forest for the kill a lake has very acidic water which causes many fish populations to die and a deer grazes in the field of grasses now uh, the whole story is described just in a few points that how Indeed. can we make the relationship because eco system uh, ecology is the relationship the study of the relationship so here we can say that rain is coming field washes away soil and from there these are collecting actually the what we can say the minerals and so many other things then a hawk hunts a mouse and swoops down into the forest for the kill a lake has very acidic water 
which causes many fish population to die a biotic factor a deer grazing in a field of grasses biotic so fish is biotic and acidic water and is biotic a biotic so these are the combination these are the combinations of these two and this will complement the system for the survival of its inhabitants its population and we can talk about the sample duck was duck was in the last slide was a sampling now let's see the next one is what is that can you see this एक सेकेंड ये लोड हो रही है एक सेकेंड में आपका आवाज जब लोड हो जाती है जी अब अब आ रही है एक सेकेंड हाँ इंडिपेंडेंट वर्ल्ड रीडियो सिनेरियो कार आईडेंटिफाइड द एबायोटिक एंड बायोटिक फैक्टर्स इन द सिनेरियो एंड फाउंड अदर्स जो जी लेटर एंड चेक योर वर्क यस दिस इज आल्सो गिवन इन योर बुक यू कैन लुक this is the, the part measurement of, of how acidic, basic, or neutral a section is. Yes. Section is. One is strong acid, four is weakly acidic, seven is neutral, eleven is weakly basic, and fourteen is strong base. Yes. So uh, what we can say that this pH, the measurement mm -hmm. of low acidic, basic, or neutral a uh, solution. So here, if we have a seven value of any liquid pH value, then this will become the neutral. And we can say that this is uh, what we can say the most neutral is water. Water is the neutral because its pH value is. And if something is dissolved in the water and it's uh, four, one if the value is one ph then we can say that this is strongly acid then if we have one to four so it's a weakly acid and from this line onward it will become the neutral and if the value of ph is increasing so if we are increasing the values just like seven eight nine ten and 11 so this is weekly basic now we have the basis and uh, if it is getting the value the maximum value 14 G. so this will become strongly base very basic so in, in, in any uh, ecosystem we will have to take care of all these things that uh, the elements all those ingredients which are making the ecosystem if they are keeping the balance where the acidic liquid or acidic things are required, so definitely we can uh, match or we can measure their specific nature. Okay. Now let's see the next one is. So this is the, these are the examples. Now let's see the examples are. Can you read this? Vinegar pH of 4 acidic baking soda is basic yes. pH of 8 to 9. Yes. And then tap water is uh, neutral pH of about 7 and then 1 milliliter of hydrochloric acid pH of about 1. Yes, so it yes. is also acidic. Yes. So these are the few examples. Next mm -hmm. is which, which is more is acidic. More... Acidic pH of 2 or pH of 5, a pH yes. of 7 or pH of 11, which yes. is more basic, pH of 2, pH of 5, pH of 7, pH of 11. What is your guess? Which is more acidic is pH of uh, 2. Yes. And 11 is? Basic. And which is more basic over here on the right hand side? 11. 11. Uh, 2. 11, 11, 11. 11 maximum value this is all about the basic so this was the topic all of that or you have to send me math I have sent you I have sent you we will do it tomorrow now is Manayil here or what is he doing? 